I love this Milwaukee so much. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing well. This is going to be a nice chill video, this one. I've had a really stressful week. I'll tell you about that in a second. This video is going to be a continuation of the first fix where we started in the last one. Uh, just finishing off the copper work. Um, get, getting the waste pipes run around and stuff. So yeah, nothing too stressful. I've actually just called back on that big first fix I did probably a month ago now. Um, they booked me in for next week to go and do all the bathrooms. There's seven bathrooms on that job and not one single room is ready for me. Um, they've plastered, well, they're not skimmed in the bathrooms. This will be a mermaid boarded. But yeah, there's not one room that's ready for me. Um, so it's knacking my schedule up a little bit because obviously I'm busy and next week was allocated for that job. Um, and then I've got a load of schoolwork I need to get done, obviously, by September. And that job's supposed to be done for end of August. So everything's going to clash. Um, so I'm not sure when that job's going to be ready for me now. Obviously, I'll have to sort some stuff out for next week. But I don't want to bore you with my problems. This is just like... This, this does happen, but obviously that's why you try and plan stuff in and you just sort of rely on other people that they're going to get their stuff done. They've had, they've had plenty of time. They've probably had six weeks to get them ready for me. And as I say, they've done all the kitchens, they've put all the flooring down, but they've not mermaid boarded the bathroom for some reason. They've left them till last, even though they knew I was coming back. So I'm slightly, slightly annoyed. I'm not going to bore you with any of my problems really, but yeah, it is, it is annoying. Just going to get my hot and cold pick back up. I've just dropped a level line down. All I'll do is put clips 50 mil apart, drop down there, and then run a hot, hot into this one and a cold round to pick the systems up and then hot into the rooms. So I've just got some clips on and some length in. All I'll do now is literally just cut my tees in. I'll just pass over on the bottom one, keep the hot on top, and then just cut tees in where the walls are going. So I've got one wall here. I just need two 15 tees, tees in for the toilet systems, tees along there, and tees in there. So yeah, once you get a few lengths in and all your clips on, it's far easier to work like that. It keeps everything straight and level. I'm just literally going along and banging all my tees in where I need them. If you do it this way, it keeps your pipes lovely and straight. Whereas if you try and put short bits in and then tees, you end up with bits all over. I just use my tape measures just to hold my, my leg across while I solder that and it just stops it from dropping. It's a good little life hack. It does make your life a little bit easier. So yeah, I've just got a hot to swing across into this stud in. I'll probably leave that cold over there ready for the toilet system and then just a hot to bring across there. It's just all about trying to make your life as easy as possible really. You don't, you don't necessarily need a laser level. That clip didn't get very good fixing. Um, I never had one, but now I don't know how I would work without it. Probably can't even see what I'm doing anyway. I think my camera's too low. Let me. Let me put it on my uh, shoulder cement. So I just need two T's here to swing into the stud in. And then when we come back, it should make our life a lot easier. And we like an easy life. For some reason my, my clips didn't get a go, very good fixing on that end bit, but oh, it should be alright. Don't think there's a lot of wall there, but it'll be alright. This makes life easy as well. I've, I've had that blade in probably a year now. And it still cuts well. Do 
gas lamp's broken, it don't hold in. If you've watched one of my videos before, you know I'm not obsessed with getting a really clean solder joint. It's more important that it doesn't leak, but you always want to wipe your flux off. Obviously, the joint's not perfect, but that'll never leak. I love this Milwaukee so much. I'll line it through. Beautiful. Most satisfying bit of the job, this putting your clips on. Right, so I brought them round to there. That is the central run base. What I need to do is bring a hot and a cold and a waste out. This one I can do, because that wall's just being lined forward so I can get my pipes behind. But I need to bring them far enough out so I've got space for a blender. So I'll probably bring them like 200 mil. The unit opening, I've got 350 mil to work in. Um, so yeah, I'll probably bring them on the edge of my opening and then I'll just put my blender in the middle and then it's just one tap. So it's just a mixed tap rather than having a hot and a cold. But that's how they want it. So I'll just extend them across. I want an inch and a half waist across. Yeah, and that'll do me. So all them are in. Looks all right. That's got them tied back in at the top, just on them lever valve so we can isolate this whole room off. What I'm gonna do next is get that dead leg cut off. And then I've just got a couple of little bits of waste pipes to run. And that's all I can do on this job then until we get the walls built. When they get the walls built, I can obviously run out and nib out my basins. Then they'll get it all boarded and stuff, but yeah coming together. That old coal pipe up there, what I'm going to do, it comes off that pipe there. So as long as I cap that to within, I've got two times the pipe diameter. So if I cap that on the branch up there within 30 mil, that'll be fine. That removes all that dead leg then. I'll just make sure it's not feeding anything else. But that one just comes across down there and then it picks up our cold coming down there if the camera will focus. So it just comes all the way back through. So yeah, I'll end up capping that up there. It just makes my life easier not having to use that pipe. Well, I'm going to cap it right there. We need to be within twice the pipe diameter for Legionella. So anything up more than that will be classed as a dead leg, but we're fine there. So I'll find somewhere to turn the water off. We'll knock it off and just cap that. I'll probably use a compression, but it, it'll be fine. I don't, don't fancy soldering with all this stuff up here. That is what you call a stock tap. It's coming in on 54mm copper. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's quite dark in this corner. Hopefully this one holds. That'll be the mains in. But look, 54mm, 54mm copper in the ground. Please work. <laughs> Please don't snap off. If that snapped off, you'd be in a bit of trouble, wouldn't you? Right, we'll see if that's got it. Here's my copper tap, keeping shots. We we'll leave these two open and then we'll go and do it at the other end. Sorry about the poor camera quality, but I can't hold the torch and the camera, but that should be off. Moment of truth, thick copper that as well. That'll weigh in well. There we go, beautiful that. Yeah, I'll just put a compression cap end on there and that'll be job done. Can you see? Probably can't see any of that, but yeah, that'll be fine. That'll do me. That's within regs, that's within 30 mil of that pipe. Yeah, we're good on that one. This is where the stock tap snaps off. Oh, blimey. Did I tighten it that tight? I can't undo it. Please don't snap off. Don't know my own strength. Get that back on. That's sounding promising. The old valves are normally the best. Fingers in the way of the camera. Awful camera work. We just make sure the packing don't leak on it. <laughs> Get all the way back on and then back half a turn. Back a little bit. Make sure the packing don't leak and that'll be good. Beautiful. Right, I'm just getting these waste pipes clipped in. And the reason I'm running an inch and a half is because anything over, is it 2.8 meters? Um, you've got to upgrade it from 32 mil to 40 mil. So that's what I'm doing. So that'll just clip round, clip along that back wall and just poke it out and I'll reduce it at the basins. Yeah, we'll get a nice fall on that all the way. 
back through, which will be perfect for us. That's got them all run in, we've got a lovely fall on that all the way around. So, I'm probably going to end the video there actually. I'm pretty much there with this first fix. I will get everything tested and lagged, um, but I like to get full control of the job before. Well, I like to get full control of every job really, but it's nice when you've got stuff valved off and you've got everything tested because you haven't got to worry when you come back. You're not struggling to get pipe work in and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, when we come back, we'll finish off the rest of the pipe work in the studying when the walls are built, and then it'll only be a case of fitting sort of the toilet systems and the toilets. So yeah, this job, we've got the crux of the work done, which is good. And um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike, and we'll catch you all next time.